No money spent. Weekend League was absolute hell. Honestly, man, I was ready to quit and never play No Money Spent ever again. Now, we finished the weekend with 17 wins. One away from that 18 mark that I kind of set my goal out for, man. But we got 17 wins with a 79 overall. It was super tough. Now, I think the gap between a lot of money spent and no money spent right now is enormous. And I was definitely out there struggling with people that normally would quit in the first half. So, super, super frustrating. Uh, it was great. Everybody that watched it loved it, man. You guys can watch me play live. The links are below twitch.tv slash dub dot. You guys know that if you're missing out on this live action, then I, I mean, I it's hard for me to duplicate my energy in YouTube videos as it is for uh, live Madden, man. There's nothing like live Madden. Uh, I get super frustrated, especially with this team. I feel like with the good team or regs or something like that, I have an even playing field. But man, when you're playing up, up the hill against people you should be beating, it's super frustrating, man. But like I said, this series, not a dime was spent. I did not buy level packs. I started with 200K and a couple power-up passes. So let's take a look at this team. We went into the first weekend league of the year. We went in with this team ready to rumble. Now, I told you, if you guys have been following this series, I have this Lamar Jackson powered up. That is one of the that is pretty much the biggest purchase that I made. I also have surrounded this team with team builders. Um, I got Lamar Jackson and I have Tyler Lockett, who I used two power ups on two, two of my power ups that I had from getting a level 50. So I have Cam Akers at running back, absolute stud. Jerry Judy, I, I've been preaching him all series for you guys to go get Jerry Judy, one of the best wide receivers in the game. John New Smith. And we have team captain Ed McCaffrey, who honestly, hopefully I get enough coins to get a wide receiver to replace him because he's just not it right now. But we got Russell Okung because he has edge protector built in. And we got this Frank Rag now who has post up built in. And what post up does gives you a solid double team. Those D tackles won't be beating those double teams and shedding you when you step up in the pocket. Have my free Andrew Whitworth card at right tackle. These guys are fighters, man. I'm not going to tell you they're good, but they're fighters. My offensive line. Um, defense, I, I I probably noticed the most on defense. Now, I don't use my middle linebacker, so these guys are nobodies. What I have right here now is U Uchin Uchina Nuasu. I don't know. He's going to play uh, defensive end for me. Now, because I'm in no money spent, I'm going to focus on one defensive formation. You know, if you just focus on one defensive formation and one offensive formation, that means you kind of only need 22 players on the field. You know, if I want to run dollar and I want to run 3-4, now I need 20 defensive players. You know, so I'm going to focus on nickel where I need four down linemen and seven DBs. That's what I'm going to do. No linebackers will be on the field. It will be all DBs, safeties at user, and nickel normal, man. If you guys want to need his offense, defense, MaddenTurf.com, man. Those links are below as well. So we're going to run Nuasu at uh, defensive end in my unique Ngakwe. He's going to play the other defensive end. Um, so definitely have some guys that can get at the quarterback at defensive end. I played my solos. I played my house rules to get unique. I have Demarcus Lawrence and Montez Sweat are going to play D-Tackle. I spy Montez Sweat a lot. That's why I like him. Demarcus Lawrence, the free card. Speaking of free cards, Patrick Peterson, he's going to play safety for me. Absolutely a turtle out there with no sprinter, no boost, 84 speed. It's been rough, boys, but we have Dante Jackson, AJ Terrell, and we have Denzel Ward in the slot with Jeremy Chin at free safety. My two users, Troy Apke and Terrell Edmonds. So... Now, this is what I did, man. I tried to limit, I tried to cut these 25 games down into some highlights or around 10 minutes, man. So buckle up for these highlights. I'll show you guys what games went wrong, what happened, and who made the most plays on my team, man. If you like this series, get this video to 500 likes. We're gonna keep pushing out this no money spent content. The first weekend league was a battle, so make sure we check out these highlights. First game of the weekend league, and we're already at a fourth down. And who do we look for on fourth down? Jerry Judy. Mawesome, go crazy kid. Jerry Judy, I'm telling you guys, go get your guys a Jerry Judy card. I just want to step up here with Lamar Jackson, get into the end zone early. Game one, we're going to sell out and dive. Get him to a third and eight right here. Terrell Edmonds, the user with the huge interception. And you know where we're going to take that one to the Baja 
touchdown. That's pretty much going to end that first game. That's what we like. Second game, we'll get into it. Once again, Lamar Jackson looking for that man, Jerry Judy, hop around the pylon, touchdown. I'm telling you, you're going to see a lot of Jerry Judy in this game. Uh, next game, there he goes, that man Edmonds. If you guys are looking for a budget user, Terrell Edmonds, tall jumps, has the speed, has the hip power. Now, this is where I made a Jerry Judy emote. So if you guys are on my Twitch channel, you guys are subbed, you can get a Jerry Judy emote to put in the chat every time he balls out. You will get one of these, man. He's an absolute stud. That Jerry Judy, Cam Akers hitting a hole right here in the next game, taking this one to the Baja 89 speed running back Cam Akers. Once he gets in the open field, field man he's really hard to bring down and who else would seal this game other than Patrick Peterson big pick he's probably the only one in my secondary that plays the ball goes and gets it uh, so it's definitely a, a good piece to have I go up top right here John New Smith that 87 speed really paying dividends uh, if you guys need a budget tight end he is the man John New Smith so I won that game next game I feel like we're undefeated right now go up top post route Tyler Lockett touchdown back of the end zone we're up by three points third quarter we're gonna get this huge user pick by my other user user Troy Apke and you know where that's going to the Baja touchdown Troy Apke gonna seal that game this is the next game uh and this guy's gonna take off with Todd Gurley and I don't really want to talk about this this is probably my low point on the no money spent day uh that was rough uh, don't bring it up. I, I, I had to show it though because he, he had my no money spent team looking bad. We're down by seven here. We're going to hit the post route over here to Tyler Lockett. Touchdown, tie the game up. We're tied right now. Once again, we're going to go over here to Tyler Lockett. Absolutely cooking Dre Bly. A lot of you guys talk about Dre Bly, but Tyler Lockett's frying him right there. We're too slow to catch. Jermichael Finley going around the edge. We are down by three. Got to make a play here. We have a fourth and six on my own 35-yard line, and we're going to get lurked by Bob Sanders, and he's going to take this. Is he? Is Lamar going to fight? No. Touchdown, Bob Sanders. So that was my first loss of the day. This game, we're down by 10 early. Uh, don't know how that happened, but we find Jerry Judy up top taking this one all the way a 67 yard touchdown for judy we're down by 10 here gotta find somebody to make a play who else jerry judy touchdown a 55 yard a 67 yard touchdown and a 55 yard touchdown in the same game once again now we're down by three looking to take the lead in this game we're gonna roll out we're gonna dump the ball off here to tyler lockett the agility the speed taking that yards after catch for a touchdown another big play as we come back and win that game this one Tie game just starting second quarter. We're going to take off with Lamar. A little bit of speed. That's why he's the quarterback you go get. Lamar Jackson getting in the end zone there. And then we're up by two scores early second quarter. We're going to hit John New Smith. Touchdown. Go up 21 nothing to pretty much seal that game. Next game. Down by three. We're going to go up top. We're going up top a lot. John New Smith, 87 speed. Do not sleep on him. Uh, linebackers cannot cover him. We win that game. Next game, Bo Jackson. I, I will tell you right, my team did not like Bo Jackson. The no money spent team did not like Bo Jackson at all. I step up here. I get sacked. We need a money drive. We're down by four. Next play, third and 16. We're going to try Simmons, and we're going to get picked off. So we're going to lose this game. This is one of my eight losses um, to the MCS jerseys. As Bo Jackson's just going to just, just fight and rumble and stumble. Got to get off the field here. Got to find a way. And he goes to the screen for the loops. And like I said, nobody on my team liked anything to do with Bo Jackson as we wind up losing this game. Uh, next game, we're down by 10, though. And we're going to hit this quarterback draw. Bunch empty. Lamar Jackson gets into the end zone. Down by three. We're fighting back. This time, we're going to run the same set. He run commits. Got to hit the flat over there. Cam Akers taking it up the, up the sideline. Touchdown. Uh, we win that game. This game, we're down 20 to 2. But I hit Tyler Lockett up top. Boom, touchdown, down by 11 right now. Got to find somewhere to go with it. Jerry Judy underneath route. It's not all deep routes. He hits the drag, gets into the end zone. We are down by four, third quarter. This route he kept hitting me with. I don't know what it is, this five wide, and my deep blue zone just kept rushing the quarterback, and he kept throwing the streak. Now, I, I mean, listen, uh, different things happen as I hit this RPO to get in the end zone and cut it to a three-point game right here. Um, so, but I got to hit off the field and, and this thing really, uh, bothered me a lot, but right here, we're going to get this huge pick 
Jeremy Chin right there. We had the ball back. We're down by three. Three minutes left in the game. We're going to go on a drive right here. We're going to take the lead. As I look for to get hit and throw a pick, and Tyron Matthews is going to take it to the crib, and he's going to dance into the end zone. Now, this pisses me off. It pisses me off when people dance. So let's go back to it. We're going to hit Tyler Lockett over the middle. We are going to get inside field goal range down by 10. We're just going to spike the ball right there. We're going to take our three to make it a one possession game. We have a minute left. We could still get off the field. So we're going to kick the ball off, play defense. This is that five wide that just he just leaves this streak open. I don't know what it is. Uh, maybe it really is the cover three cloud kryptonite. He just leaves the streak open. And... I, I had to learn. I learned the hard way that game. That cover, that five wide killed me. Lost that game. Next game, we're just going to go up top. I, I'm tired of saying his name in the highlights. He's just continually cooking, continually making plays. If you guys don't have Jerry Judy, you are missing out on a great budget wide receiver. I have a lot of budget players on my special teams, and Marquise Brown takes one to the crib right here. Um, I think with the lack of kick power I have, the lack of speed on special teams, I should definitely do, be doing some type of pooch kick. Jeremy Chin just went crazy right there for an interception, though. I don't know what that was. 99 jump for him. Uh, we got to make him pay. Going up top, you do not press Jerry Judy with Troy Vincent. That is a mismatch. That is an absolute mismatch. Jerry Judy into the end zone. Second touchdown of the game. I believe that was 90-plus yards. Uh, my backup against my own end zone. Right there. This is overtime. And we give up that catch to Zach Ertz. So we lose that game. Now we're playing very fluffy moves. And Denzel Ward comes up with a huge pick. And he's going to take this one all the way to the Baja. Excuse me, Jerome Bettis. You are too fat to tackle me. Touchdown, Baja, Denzel Ward. We're up 7 to nothing, but we get hit with an RPO. And my team just literally has no chance of catching Tyreek Hill. He takes that one what 52 yards for 62 yards for a touchdown there tyler lockett just enough speed man my boy's got just enough speed to get it done although trey waynes tackles him inside the five there we are fourth and one can we stand up for ourselves can these golds fight down here boom grab jerome bettis wrap him up hold the door out of the end zone huge stop right there don't think my team has what it takes to stop on the goal line but we did right there Hitting the wheel route, Tyler Lockett. Nice swerve to get the right animation, the right angle. Touchdown. Big play. 85-yard touchdown to Tyler Lockett. We win that game. Next one, we're looking for bid Eddie Mack. He hasn't made a lot of highlights. Hasn't made a lot of highlights in this. Uh, as you guys see, he's not the the, the, the go-getter for me. And uh, Jamal Taylor, right? No, Jonathan Taylor. Honestly, I'm never going to say his game name again because he fumbles and Tredavious White picks it up and makes my entire team look like absolute toddlers right here. Jonathan Taylor is going to get cut after that fumble to the crib. A 84-yard fumble return for a touchdown. But we come back and we hit Tyler Lockett back of the end zone. Touchdown. We're up by four. Fourth quarter. He's on a money drive. Somebody has to make a play right here. And guess who? Patrick Peterson comes up with the huge interception to seal this game for me. Um, like I said, he's the only one that really plays the ball nice for me. Next game, we're going to step in here and we're going to look up top, man. He left the middle of the field open. That boy, Jerry's going to find somewhere to go with it. Taking that one, uh, 68 yards for a touchdown. Big plays by Lockett and by uh, Jerry Judy. I actually matched up with D-Croft here and he realized my guys have 89 speed and just lobbed it up to... <laughs> Uh, Tyreek Hill there we get a big overthrow here on my next possession third and four we get a fourth down and I can't lie Jerry Judy just collapsed on this play uh fell on the ground um I don't know what happened but we turned the ball over on downs on on D Croft we hold him to two field goals so we're feeling okay we hit this corner route to McCaffrey need a touchdown here to give us hope give us life and we're going to find Tyler Lockett back at the end zone boom touchdown we are down by three against D Croft a good player you got to go crazy on defense I sent way too many people and Barry Sanders makes me pay as he gets into the end zone we're going to lose this game to D Croft tough playing a great competitor with the no money spent team it's going to be tough to win those games but next, we got to get into the next game. Tyler Lockett up top. Touchdown. Tyler Lockett and Jerry Judy just go off for me. We're going to run with Cam Akers right here. We'll take it to the outside. We're going to get by Ronnie Lott and take this one all the way. 52-yard touchdown run. run. Cam Akers uh, just getting it done at the right time. We actually give up this post route in the next or the streak in the next game. Uh, we are down by four. Looking to go somewhere with the ball. You guys know. 
Judy up top. Judy up top should pretty much be the title of the no money spent team. Uh, here we throw a pick trying to go to McCaffrey. Tyron Matthews is going to take this oppo boppo. Oh, no, he's going to get tackled inside the five. I'm telling you, that's when I realized it might be time. It might be time to replace Ed McCaffrey as Bo Jackson gets into the end zone. We are down by four, stepping up. We go out route here. Tyler Lockett, third and 20. We get to a fourth, a fourth and eight for the game. We're going to step back. We're going to step up with Lamar Jackson and just get shedded. That's my, that is my Russell Okun with built-in edge protector. I lose that game. <clears throat> Next game, we're going to give up this post right over the middle to Drew Bennett. Ah, oh, this guy killed me with these up-the-middle posts, but... We'll find the hole. We'll find the hole deep. We go. We, look, we'll find the hole deep. Pause. Then we get a huge interception here. Denzel Ward, my slot corner, is going to take this one all the way inside the 10-yard line. Huge change of momentum from my man Denzel Ward there. And Cam Akers is going to take this outside. Just enough speed to get into the end zone to take the lead, man. If you want any of these offensive plays, any of these bomb touchdowns, any of these you know just find the right person open jerry judy whom maddenturf.com i promise you guys will help your game a lot i'm updating the seattle offensive ebook this week the next game this is the last game i needed 17 wins and i throw a pick six a pick six when it was seven seven to go down we went down by seven right here we give up a field goal we're down by 10 at halftime need this win this is the 17th game or the 17th win for me as i boom hit jerry judy as he smokes that man coverage on byron jones right there touchdown we are down by three early or late in the third quarter we're going to go up top to lock it but asante samuel just bags his life I throw an interception, down by three, got to get off the field right here, he's going to have all day roll out with Lamar Jackson, Terrell Edmonds with the huge lurk, picking that off, trying to take it to the crib, inside the 20 yard line, Lamar Jackson makes the tackle, but it gave us life, we had to take the lead right here, uh, looking for McCaffrey, but we hit Tyler Lockett on a slant, whoop! Back in the middle, touchdown, take the lead up by four. We got to stand up for ourselves here. Inside the 15, he has the ball, and Montez Sweat comes up with the huge interception. He's going to take it around the sideline. He's trying to motor, trying to motor, but he actually gets caught. So this guy still has timeouts. We leave everything on the line. Third and 10 for the game to seal it. We're going to go up top. Jerry, Judy, touchdown, GGs. That was my 17th win, man. I'll tell you. These games were absolute sweat fest. I don't think very many people quit. I don't think I won many games by more than one score. Had to manage the clock. Had to play smart. Um, so we got 17 wins. Um, I, I, I'm proud of it. You know, I wanted 18. I feel like next week with my additions, I'm shooting for 20 wins. That's what I'm shooting for. I, I shot for 18 this week. I came up a little bit short. Next weekend, we're going to shoot for 20 wins. Probably play one day during the week, too. Maybe get some more team builders on my team. Hopefully win another Super Bowl. Boost the team up a little bit more. So I'm looking around. Probably get around 200K. So I'm going to give you guys a rewards video. See what I get and see the additions I make to my team. But get this video to 500 likes if you guys are enjoying the no money spent content.